Here's how to get the image or decal ID on Roblox Mobile. Now, if you're on an iPhone or an Android and you need that ID number for a decal or an image, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we need to do is head into a web browser. You can't do this in the Roblox app. So in a web browser, we're just going to go to roblox.com and hit go. Now, of course, you need to sign into your account. And at the very bottom, we're just going to hit continue in browser. You can see here it says continue in browser. Tap on that. Now, once we're in here, you can see towards the top right is the create button. So let's tap on create. And you can see it says, welcome back to the creator hub. So I'm in the creator hub now and I need to find the decals or images. So I'm going to scroll down and you can see here, browse the store. I'm going to hit view items. Now, if you don't necessarily see the store, you can always tap on the three lines at the top left. And then you'll be able to see right under learn is the store right there. So go into the store. And then at the very top here, we'll swipe over and go to decals. Now, this will show you all of the decals. You can search for specific ones that you want. But let's just tap on this first one, blonde to purple, cute, wavy hairstyle. Now, if you wanted to get the ID number for this, you're going to use basically the URL. So tap at the very bottom with the URL. And you can see it says create.roblox.com forward slash store forward slash asset. And then there is a long string of numbers. That is the decal ID. So you can just double click and hit copy and you'll be able to copy that decal or image ID and use it wherever you want. Again, you can always just go back to a different decal, tap on it and then open up that URL and you'll be able to see right after asset, the basically decal ID that you can then just go in and copy and paste it, use it however you want. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.